This car is a one owner, 96,000 mile car. It's absolutely gorgeous, runs and drives great. Check out this video. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. And what I've got here for you today is the exterior video of this beautiful 2006 Dodge Magnum RT. It's the Hemi, baby. It's a cool car. Um, and it's in great shape. It's got about 94,000 or so on it. I'll give you the quick walk around and then we're gonna go up close and show you any of the minor flaws or scratches and dings or anything that is wrong with the car, which there ain't much to talk about. It's in great shape. RT, baby. It's a great platform. This is a great driving, great running, great riding car and very cheap to work on. Um, actually, when I got it, they had a leak and it had a crack in the radiator uh, right at the bottom. So we bought a new radiator and put in it. And would you believe? $51? I think it was 51 bucks. I don't think it was over 55 total with shipping and everything. But so cheap to work on. Great cars, great platform. I love them. Um, they are very collectible too at this point. Um, getting pretty hard to find clean magnums with low miles. So with that in mind, I'm going to go around and show you all the car and everything about it. And that's that. Underneath first. It's just a clean not a rusty car or nothing. California car. And let's look at any dings or scratches. Um, there's a little scuff right here. Tiniest of scuffes. Tiniest scuffes. Little mark there. And chip. You're going to find miscellaneous little things. Like there's a tiny chip right there. I don't even know if you can see it. Probably. My hands are filthy. I've been cleaning. Little chip there. Not a lot to write home about. Tiny ding right in that crease right there. And going down the side, just presides that. There's a tiny ding here, a ding here. And we'll come back down at it across this way. Make sure that there's not too much to talk about. God, it's in great shape. It is one straight magnum. Um, one of the other things, here's a little scuffy scratch right there. One of the other things on this one, chip right there. I'm showing everything. I'm pretty serious about showing you damage. This stuff is flaking off right here. So he needs to be kind of chipped off and painted or something. I've redone a lot of them, but just chose to leave this like it was. It's kind of wearing thin. Um, the roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. No, the roof's in great shape and looks awesome. Big, long, nice roof. Nice blacked out factory. Pretty sure it's factory windows. Um, the back bumper is clean, dual exhaust, all that. A couple chips in the paint, like right about here. Little scratches and scuffs from getting in and out. Water mark going right down there. A little ding right there. And then going down this side. Man, it's straight. There's got to be something I'm missing. Just a little scratchy scuff right there. Little light scratches right there. And that is pretty much the damage going around the car. That's about all there is to talk about. This stuff is faded. And actually, you can sit there and do this and clean this up like I know tomorrow. A little brush or something. And I'll tell you what, that's how that stuff's going to look. So I wish I'd have got that done, but I didn't. So that's how it's getting sold. Um, this one, you can see somebody's picked it all off. The black to where it's just straight chrome. And that is totally, totally an option on this kind of stuff. Just take a little razor blade and flick it off there. And at the end of the day, you'll have a nice, smooth surface like that that you can polish up. Okay, so that's the once around looking at everything. It's fully loaded. It's got these wheels are in great shape. And I'm going to go around and look at them all. It's a slight mark right there. But they ain't curved them all up. They got a nice 225, 60, 18. Look at that tread. I don't want to say brand new, but these tires ain't got much of anything on it. We just washed it, so it's still dripping off a little bit. A couple tiny marks right on the edge there. And I'd like to look at them all and show you what we're dealing with. Just a little curb rash there. It's, they're a very clean set of wheels. People usually bang them up a lot more than this. Great shape. Okay, 
So that is the entire walk around of this car. God, it looks good sitting here. And we're gonna go this way, because somebody's turning around. And I'm gonna hop in, give you a ride down the road, show you what it's all about. Lenses are in good condition. Like I say, this is a great platform. Um, and that's that. I've walked around and walked around and walked around. Let's go for a quick test drive, show you how she runs, drives, and all that good stuff. You can reach me anytime. My name is Nathan, 406-546-8748, oneownercarguy.com for all kinds of pictures and you name it, all kinds of stuff on there. This video will be on there. I'm going to do an interior one also. Um, here's the key. Some people like to see the key. Hang on. There you go. There it is. 93, excuse me, 93. 96,000 miles on it. I was looking at that 53 and a 33. And this is a one owner car, baby. One owner. It's been taken care of. It's been babied. There ain't a lot to say about it being wrong. It's just a nice, clean car. So we're going to shoot down the road here. Now, I'll tell you one thing about this car that I find annoying is I'm going to like do something with this seatbelt here. I'm not really good at wearing mine. And it tells you about it. It does. Okay, so, cruising down the road. Car drives great. The car gets down and goes. I'll give you a little bit of a rev here or something when we come down this hill. Slow it down. And we'll do it to it right here. 40. Yeah, baby. Nice. Okay, well, it's a test drive. OneOwnerCarGuy.com and all kinds of pictures and such on my channel. Oh my, the car's fast. It's a rocket, it's a rocket. It's nice to have a wagon that's so fast. Out of all the wagons, this might be one of the funnest wagons just because you got so much power in the little car. Little car, that's not, it's not a little car. I say little car about a lot of things. And what I don't mean is little car because it's not tiny. It's very easily maneuverable. And like I've said three times in this video now, I believe, this is a great platform. Um, these cars are only gonna go up in value. You got a nice clean one with low miles. There ain't much to say about it. You've got one of the only nice magnums left because there ain't a lot of them left. So, again, one owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Make sure and subscribe here on my channel if you're not because I got cool stuff. That's all there's to say about it. I don't do all, all sorts of cars. I do cars that are going to be worth more and are just a little bit different. Come on, what are we dealing with here? Let's go, lady stinking Toyota drivers. And, you know, you could take the traction control off here and have all kinds of fun, but I try not to do that. I'm telling you, man, nothing but power. Nothing but power. You can pass a 25 mile an hour. Look, they're already way back there in my, I don't know if you can see them, but, and I don't, I'm not speeding. I am literally not speeding, it's just, quick car up to the speed limit like right now and that's what there is to say about it now five speed transmission I believe it's got the shift on the fly where you can tap it tap 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 the little handle to the left and the right to upshift and downshift which is kind of cool um, honestly the way they run and the way they rev out you just leave this thing and drive and have more fun than you ever knew what to do with uh, I don't know if I put my 18 year old kid in this I really don't um, there is a bit too much power. Um, well, in the rain and stuff, man, I scared the snot out of my woman. I mean, I just scared the ever-living snot out of her. I don't think she'd ever had anybody pull a U-turn and make that back end fishtail back and forth for about 10 seconds. And the car is very <laughs> capable of that. So, yeah, um, powerful. So this is your test drive. Um, make sure to subscribe here on my channel. I do new videos every week, and I actually, this is Saturday. I usually put one up on Saturday and Sunday for sure, 
I didn't really have anything to put up today. Kind of bummed me out. But now, I've got something to put up tomorrow. This is my exterior. I'll get the interior in a minute here. God, the car drives nice. I actually have been driving this quite a bit. I just took it over to, um, well, I've taken it to um, LA and Simi Valley, Ventura County, a bunch from San Diego, and I just took it on a road trip. We went from San Diego to Laughlin, Laughlin up to Vegas, Vegas back to San Diego. In that trip, we put about 900 miles on it, including driving around Vegas quite a bit. And the car has gave problem-free trips. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, so it's getting to be dark, which is awesome. I'll get my beautiful sunset pictures here. And you will get an outro of this video, and then we're gonna do the other one. Uh, maybe you're watching the one that I already combined because I do put the exterior and interior together at some point. And I'm here to tell you, if you're looking for a Magnum, stop it. Just, just stop it and call me, Nathan, 406-546. 8748, I'm always around, and I'm here to make you a deal on this Dodge Magnum. Okay, so, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. Subscribe, check the website out, 60, 80 pictures on there, and the video. Thanks for watching, we'll talk to you. One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com, and what I've got here for you today is the interior video of this 2006 Dodge Magnum. It's a one owner car. It's been taken care of really well. It's, it's got great, it's, you can tell. It runs and drives awesomely. I've used this as a personal driver. And I said in the exterior video about how much I like this platform. I'm not a Chrysler fan. I'm just not, never have been, know how, know where. But the drive line in this car and the platform and the way this car drives and the investment ability. Is that a word? No, it's not. But the investment on these cars is great. You could drive this car, throw 50,000 miles on it, make money on it in 10 years. They ain't going down in value no more. These cars are great. You ain't gonna find too many of them with this kind of mileage. And it's just a great little everyday driver that gets great gas mileage. I got mid-20s um, on my trip. I just went from here to Laughlin to Las Vegas and lots of cool places. Um, Put a little 900 mile trip in Southern California and Nevada. Now I'm gonna show you the interior, but first I'm gonna pop the hood and show the motor to where I don't get off track. I'm just gonna start with the front and go towards the back. This car is in great shape. Look at this. Hemi baby. Hemi baby, hemi baby, hemi baby. And look at all the parts, just great shape. There's a new radiator in it. We put that, it had a crack. They have plastic radiators now. But I'll tell you what, one thing, these cars are so cheap to work on. 50, I want to say 55 shipping included off of Amazon. And great deal, great price to work on these cars. The only thing wrong under the hood is it looks like he might have flopped a belt or something at some point. And the hood liners tour, don't know. But, ka-ching, great car. Let's look inside, let's check this out. Let me show you the shape of everything else. And that's the deal. Okay. Beautiful sunset, beautiful time. I'm up here by my mom's. I like, look at that, man. Almost just lost it. I was going shopping. Threw 150 bucks in my pocket. Just pulled it out with my phone and threw it all over the place. Okay, door panels, all this kind of stuff. I'm gonna get my phone on here to where I can give you a little bit of, yeah, light. Let's shed some light on the subject. Come on, phone. There we go. So, here's that. Great shape, great shape. Panels have almost nowhere, a little wear on the side there. Look at that, floor mats are in great shape. And underneath the floor mats, that's in great shape too. Seats are wonderful. Not all messed up or tore up. Dash is in great shape. It is missing the top vent covers, I think, here for these. And they all get that problem. Headliner's in great shape. I'm gonna take you on a test drive in a minute here. Um, floor in the back. I don't even think anybody's set back here, man. This thing's clean. It's just so clean. Little cup holders and such in the middle. Like I say, the ceiling's in great shape. Totally luxurious feel. Totally nice ride. Um, it's just a great running car. These cars, the way they ride, run, 
and the price to work on and all that make them just about the perfect car. You got an AC um, adapter switch thing back there. Storage space under here. My phone just took off. Oh. Wow, funny I got a Verizon. Yeah, I don't know how that came up. My This account is Verizon. There's a T-Mobile thing on my phone. They're taking over, I tell you. That is pretty much the car. I can't really find much bad to say about it. It says Vince. Uh, make sure and watch the exterior video if it's not the full video you're watching here because I go over the outside and everything with a fine tooth comb. Um, and that's the car. Let me get into it now and show you the options and stuff like that and how well they work and what doesn't and now that I just was thinking about that, I don't know that I can imagine anything on this car that actually doesn't work. So, let's get into it and do it to it. God, these wheels are in great shape, too. Okay, seats, back, forward, up in the front, down on the front, up in the back, down on the back, back in the back, 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 and back in the back, back up, and yeah, all that. It's got 96,000. 208 on it. It'll come back on. There you go. Okay. Let's do the... Uh-oh. Someone lost my keys. That man would be me. No. No, 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 no. This isn't right. There we go. Show you the key again. I showed it to you the other one. It's all there. It's all good. CD player. Alarm. Key fob. It's in great shape. Okay. All sorts of steering wheel controls. All the radio works. It had um, satellite radio. It does still. It's still stinking subscribed to somebody's satellite radio. I don't know who is. Who care? Put me back on the Elvis channel. It's got all sorts of coin holders even. All this stuff. Ashtrays and power. This isn't an ashtray really. It's an AC adapter I guess. There's your books. All sorts of books. Here's my pot socket that broke. What's that? Oh, Wells Fargo. Somebody's Wells Fargo information. I'll show you all that when we get back. The Mopar powertrain welcome package. Okay, so with that in mind. Windows. Nice, it's got a Boston premium audio. Surround, surround I guess I'm saying. Oh man, I just wonkered up my windows. I'm not doing them all the way because I just washed it, man. Now they're all wonkered up. Is wonkered a word? In, out, up, down. All the mirrors work. I'm kind of bummed about my mirrors in case you can't tell. AC is cold. Power locks are working. All that good stuff. Okay, here we go. Let's do this thing. Just a little bit of juice, and this car just flies. You gotta watch it, or next thing you know, you're speeding. Um, check this car out on my website. It's oneownercarguy.com. Um, I sell lots of odd, unique, and unusual cars. Is this really that odd or unusual of a car? Mm, no. In today's market, you don't get a lot of wagons. And even though that um, there is some around, you're gonna be very hard pressed to find a nice low mile wagon anywhere. They're just not, these magnums are drying up and people are using them up. See, when they are there, like 285,000 miles on it. It's like, dude, that's a lot of miles. But as cheap as they are to work on and as plentiful as parts are, <laughs> drive the heck out of them, man. They're great cars and they last. God, it's nice, man. I'm here to tell you, this thing gets to town. Maybe we'll just come right back up this road. I think we will. Let's slow down and then. Man, it could use some. Uh, I had one a while back that had just some monstrous pipes on it. That thing, it was a beast, man. 
with the right pipes, these things are just awful. <laughs> uh, it's got the sequential cylinder thing, or what have you, where it cuts down to less cylinders when you're really going on the highway to where you're not always running on all the cylinders and you're saving fuel. So there is a lot of fuel savings on that little setup. If you want to shift it the other way, you can. And you'll have a little thing on your dash that shows down the first there and there's there's a speed limit right there buddy 40 miles an hour so I ain't trying to get no ticket I'm just trying to show you what it does and that it does it the way it's supposed to meaning this thing downshifts upshifts stops and everything great um, I've said it a few times in this video Vegas Laughlin big old round trip little deal God, the car is just so fun to you can just low along, and then all of a sudden, man, just give it a little bit of power, and you are at the speed limit, just like that. Two second push to the floor, and you're at 40, done. You don't want to push no more. You'll be going to the big house. Okay, don't give it to your kid. It might be too much power for him. Um, maybe you've got a super kid that wouldn't rape the heck out of a muscle car. I know when I was a kid, my, dad, my grandpa had an old 88 four-door with 301 or something in it. And like, I wanted a car so bad. I wanted a Firebird convertible, 68. Man, I got a 77 Ford F-150 four by with the full-time transfer case to where you couldn't even, you couldn't peel out in that truck if you wanted to. Couldn't get it sideways, <laughs> except off-road. But he, my dad told me I wouldn't let you drive your grandpa's car. And he was kind of right. Um, I would have probably wrapped it around telephone pole. Not my grandpa's car, the 68 Firebird at that age. Um, but I got one later and light I on. Life is life and now I've got this here car thing where I buy and sell cars, whatever I want. And dad doesn't tell me no. But in the meanwhile, yeah. So the Mopar welcome package whatever that consists of some warranty three-year 100,000 mile warranty yes sir um, there's all your man it's got everything buddy it has everything everything continental Okay, that's that. I'm gonna stop this and take a picture of that. Okay, so that's that. I'm getting out. I'm gonna tell you goodbye and show you this thing in the sunset time. God, it looks good. If you're looking for a Magnum, you need to stop it. And you need to call me because I got the coolest one around. Low miles, one owner, this is your car. Nathan, 406-546-8748. You can reach me absolutely anytime. I love this light on it, so I'm just gonna give you a quick little walk around you here and show you just a little bit more. God, the car's nice. And me and my buddy were talking while out washing it and stuff. And he's like, man, it'll look good with some 20s or something. And, and they do. But you lose a lot of the ride. And it's just nice having a factory stock RT. All the power. All the performance. Some kid hasn't had it and thrashed it. It's just straight up. One owner. Clean car. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. OneOwnerCarGuy.com. Check out my channel. Subscribe. Lots of cool stuff on here. We'll talk to you.